Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and welcome to the Vehicle Assembly Building where we are going to be constructing another recreation today. Uh, yeah, they're fun, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do another one, because why not? Today's recreation is of the SRBX, which is uh, basically an idea someone had to use space shuttle boosters to basically build a rocket. So we, they use three of the space shuttle SRBs, uh, as you can see right now, I'm kind of bolting them together. And But it, does, it has a bit of a gimmick to it. Um, yeah, it has a bit of a gimmick that makes it just completely stupid. Uh, yeah, so that the gimmick uh, you can see right there. The SRBs are actually like super far away from each other and it looks really, really stupid. Why was this someone's idea? And there's actually a reason for this. Uh, it's not like they just felt like making the boosters actually. No, there's actually a... Well, not like valid reason, but there's a reason that someone came up with. So basically the reason uh, is because they wanted to lower the cost because, you know, they want to use like existing hardware. You know, they're using the shuttle boosters. So what they what they wanted to do was also to use the shuttle launch pad so they didn't have to make new launch pads so you can save money, right? Uh, so what they what, so what they had to do is they had to make the boosters as, as far apart from each other as the actual SRBs were uh, on the space shuttle. So like you know with the orange tank and then you have the two SRBs. They on this rocket they have to be as far away from them as they are on that rocket. So or on the space shuttle. So that's why they had to space them out like that. It is a very very <laughs> strange idea. Um, Long story short, they didn't get the contract. So, uh, yeah, a little more about this thing. It's actually a four-stage vehicle. So first stage, you're, they're firing the two outboard boosters. And then the second stage, you are firing, uh, you detach the outboard boosters and you're just firing the core booster. Uh, third stage is a Titan II stage, and that is a powered by a something um i can't remember i'll put I'll, I'll, I'll put a little text on screen what it actually is i can't be bothered to go stop the recording i'll look it up uh yeah and then the uh the fourth stage which i'm just making right now with the poodle uh, is actually a, a dual engine centaur it's a shuttle centaur uh with there was an idea to kind of do a shuttle with a centaur um i'll put i'll put the wikipedia for that in the description uh so yeah it's a weirder thing but it's based it's very similar to the uh uh, the Centaur used on the Starliner, or when ULA is launching the Starliner, it has two RL-10 engines instead of the one RL-10 engine, which is nor uh, which is uh, standard for the Centaur. So it's a dual-engine Centaur, and that is basically the rocket. Also, uh, if you notice, I've extended the fairings a little bit, um, or not a fairing, sorry, I extended the boosters a little bit, the two uh, outer boosters I made, I added some liquid fuel on top of them to make them taller. Uh, the reason because the reason for that is because the um, uh, the two outside boosters are actually uh, wider than the uh, than the core booster, or not wider, taller. They are an extra segment taller than the core booster. Um, the uh, the outboard boosters are normal shuttle boosters, so they're four segment boosters, and then the core is only three segment. But we don't have any three segment boosters; we only have four segment boosters. So I figured it'd be easier to add segments instead of leave them, take them off. So it's I mean, a little unrealistic. So the uh, outside boosters have four seg. Five segments and the inside the core one has four segments the ratios are right but the the, the actual number is not correct but eh, unimportant um i'm making the payload right now uh which is kind of like this weird um i don't know what this shape would be like oval never really even oval but it's an advanced grabbing unit on top um basically this is going to be a cleanup mission i know i'm right on cleanup crew today um that's what we're doing uh because i've started a new save and I really don't want to have any debris in this save uh, because my last save got super laggy and it had like 500 pieces of debris so I do not want to go back to that world so uh, you can see there's that one piece of debris in a very high orbit and I'm gonna have to get rid of that that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go take the, our payload and it's going to go and rendezvous with that payload and it's going or that uh, that uh, piece of debris and then bring it back down to Kerbin uh, that piece of debris is um is from my last video. I will talk a little bit more about uh, about what we're deorbiting after we launch, but there we go. We have launched and this thing is just crawling off the pad with those two boosters firing right now. But the uh, the TWR does increase a little bit more as the solid propellant is burned. So we're in the time lapse now. I have it going at two times speed as we slowly ascend off of the launch pad. Like I said, only the two side boosters are firing right now. The third one, the core will fire once the two side boosters are depleted and they are staged away. We are starting a little bit of a gravity turn today. Right, well, obviously, 
Obviously we're doing a gravity turn, it's kind of how you get into orbit with rockets. Like I said, we are going to be having to go to a pretty high orbit, so I am doing a slightly more steep ascent profile, also because the Centaur is a very low thrust to ratio stage relative to the craft. And there go the side boosters, by the way, and now the center core is getting fired up. This thing has quite a bit more TWR uh, because it doesn't have all that uh, all that extra weight that uh, that we just discarded. So we can actually start to get zoom in a little bit more. I'll start to pitch over a little bit more aggressively as we cross just about 20 kilometers now. Once that stage is away, we are going to be firing the Titan II stage, uh, in which it will uh, that will carry us most of the way to the orbit, and then the. Um, the center will do our final bit of the uh, final final bit of our apoap setting, and then our circularization burn. Getting a little bit of heating now as we just cross about 45 kilometers, and there goes the SRB. So we can stage it away and fire up the single engine Titan II. Say, I believe it's the same stage as on the Titan II. I'll uh, I'll put the I'll put all all the sources will be in the description. I might do that from now on in all my videos. But there goes the fairing. And I did like the stupid explosive fairing. I forgot to, uh, to enable clamshell deploy. It wasn't more by yet. But uh, there you can see the uh, payload exposed. And we have just crossed the Carmen line. So we are now officially in space. And we just have a little a few hundred more meters a second of burning left in this stage before we stage that away. And then we are on our final stage, which is the Centaur. And uh, we are on a suborbital trajectory. So that stage will fall back to Kerbin and probably get exploded. And there it goes, and now we have the Poodle Engine, which is the Kerbal analog to the RL-10, as we just raise our apps high enough to intersect with our target's orbit. I haven't even talked about what our target is yet. Um, and uh, wait, oh, 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 and there we go, cut. I should glide on up, and welcome to, um, I don't know, relaxation? I don't know. I'm that bad. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm um, just because the music is gonna change from like a more upbeat type music, fast paced to like the like the space theme. So I don't know. I'm trying to talk a little. I don't know what I'm doing. What's our payload basically? <laughs> what what no not what what's our what's our uh, debris? What's this debris? So if you recall on my last video, uh, if you haven't seen the video, you know card in the there right. You can also guys subscribe and comment and. I have something I want to talk about. I'll get the channel update later, okay? But do you subscribe? No, I'm not, not one of those annoying YouTubers. I mean, I am pretty annoying, so I mean, I guess that means you guys have to smash the no, 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 just kidding. Um, yeah. So our or um, we're by the way we're deorbiting the uh, centaur now just because you know what's the point in deorbiting de debris if we're just going to create more debris, right? Um, so yeah, our debris. Uh, if you remember the last video, I did the UR 700A, and I have one of the stages of the UR 700A is left in orbit. It's the topmost stage of the rocket, and this is actually technically a nuclear stage. So yeah, probably a good thing to uh, well, probably a good thing to leave it in space. You don't want to be bringing nuclear reactors back down. But hey, this is Kerbal Space Program. The Kerbals, they're already completely nuclearified. They are. I mean, look at them. They look like what would happen if like the hulk was like not strong and like a space if it's like, it's like if they if you doused a frog in like the hulk radiation crap and then sent that out to space that's like basically what a kerbal is so they see they, they seem like they've already gone through enough radiation so yeah they they're pretty they're probably immune by now so yeah here's the stage just showing up now and we can do kind of we don't have a docking port so we have to use an advanced grabbing unit i'm trying to get as close to the middle of the stage as possible so we are pointing retrograde uh i could use its own engines but this engine that i have the terrier has a slightly higher specific impulse than the skippers that are on it so it'll be a little bit easier a little more efficient to do orbit i also have some parachutes which will help with our landing we are going to land mo mostly uh, well, we are gonna. It's gonna be a parachute assisted landing because we're also gonna uh, fire the skipper engines when we get close to the ground. But they are coming a little bit too fast, so we uh, bounce off the uh, bounce off the target, and then we can once again and oh, get tried again. And there we go. Okay, that is us docked, and now we can get ourselves flipped over to start our deorbit burn. So what was I gonna say? Channel update, right? So, um, I uh, I I've officially. Uh, been accepted uh, as of now uh, to the uh, YouTube partner program. If you know what that means, it's basically it lets you monetize videos. So that's pretty epic. So you guys uh, I'll get ready for 35 mineral ads per video, right? I mean, <laughs> just, just kidding. One thing that's actually really cool when you get monetized, you unlock the community thing. So I can like post stuff now to like the thing and it gets shown to my subscribers and stuff. So I can like do that. And I, I, I want to do a lot of polling. 
Because you never know, you know, when um, when you when you're talking to someone and you can't and you disagree about how people what, what if you have differing opinions and you know now I can just ask a thousand people what they think because I have a thousand subs by the thanks everyone who subscribed so yeah that's that's how I'll settle all my arguments from now on as if I disagree with someone I'll say look at all these people who voted for that but yeah see this is this is what this is what I do with my life um we're also bouncing that's actually pretty cool I tried to point radial out this thing or during this uh, re-entry and I managed to like flop myself up and get flying, so that was pretty cool. Like we 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 did a big bounce. We we climbed like 15 kilometers from our peri app, so that was pretty epic. Uh, because uh, yeah, I think I think that's cool that we like managed to like use this thing almost like a plane, even though this thing is definitely definitely not a very aerodynamic thing. But now we're just coming back down. We actually we're got like going halfway around the planet during this re-entry. Yeah, I mean you, know, you don't want to damage the engines. And that definitely doesn't happen later on, obviously. Also, um, Discord. Throw my Discord, guys. If you, I mean, if you want to, um, I, uh, I am. Um, uh, we're doing community space station there, so there'll be more information on all my other videos. I've talked to death about that thing. So if you're, if you're wondering, what we're talking about. Hey, join the Discord and ask. There's some great people there. But uh, yeah, we are now uh, just coming through peak heating now and through peak G's as we come through 10 kilometers. Now I did have problems. Uh, deploying the parachutes as in they would deploy and then they would like fully deploy and then they would just rip the rocket apart So I just decided to go only one parachute or only one drogue shoot to see if that would be a little bit more chill And here it goes deploying and oh That is what we have quick saves for right? <laughs> so now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fire the engines um, while the parachutes are deploying just to kind of help brace the rocket uh, during its uh, during its final slowdown little type thing so firing the engines here firing the engines and big fire and there we go the parachutes are now deployed and then there isn't really a problem with these main parachutes even though I do get a little bit of a kick with the engine and now it is pretty much we're gonna just glide on down to a little bit of a burst with the engines just to kind of cushion our landing because we're coming a little bit quick here with just the parachutes and uh, touchdown we're gonna stay up. And, uh, nope. I mean, that was never really the goal. I mean, we just wanted to orbit this thing. I figured landing upright would be a, a bit of a bonus. But now, now my stage, <laughs> it's rolling away from me. So what I tried to do, this was just stupid. I tried to use my little tug thing. I tried to catch up with it and like get in front of it and try and like block it. Uh, I just ended up destroying my tugs. <laughs> Jeez. And uh, what am I doing with my life? And yeah, boom, 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 and then my stage just yeah, it rolls away and blows itself up. But uh, hey, that's another episode of my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for more episodes if you if you if you if you're into that kind of thing. But uh, that's it for me. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please order a comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.